because it's me. And today, I thought we would try some clothing hacks to see if they actually work. Is your skirt too short? Yeah, I got a lot of those. Oh, but does it have to be that exact skirt? Because one of my favorite skirts that actually fits me is like one of these skirts. But can I do this with a regular skirt that doesn't fit? They just cut armholes out of it and watch. It looks like an actual shirt that I would wear. Off the shoulder, ruffled and everything. It's actually very cute. I want this to work very badly. I'm almost positive it has to be a certain kind of skirt for this to work. This was the closest one I could find. I washed it way too many times, it just shrunk. If I try to wear it, it's like... <laughs> no, absolutely not illegal. So we're gonna lay this down and then I'm gonna cut armholes like right here, basically just slits. All I could find are some meat scissors. I don't think fabric is gonna be as tough as meat, but oh, it's cutting. It's cutting better than any pair of scissors I've ever owned. So I made my little hole right here and then another one. What, and then I just pop it on and reverse it? The hat gotta come off for this one. I don't know what I washed my hair with that made it greasier than how it looked before I washed it. So I'm gonna put the skirt on. Am I doing this right? Oh, um, this is gonna like fall. There's no support. You know, unless I wear it like this. <gasps> Wowza. You know what? Does this actually look like a shirt? Cause I think it looks like a shirt and I think it looks like a really cute shirt and I might actually wear this now. Whoa. I don't think I trust it enough to wear it off the shoulder. Cause as soon as I put it off the shoulder, I feel like it's gonna go off the whole entire body. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't trust this. I mean, you wore a skirt in your previous life, but like, if I wear it like this, this is fine. This is insanely cute. I would actually wear this. Wait, does the back look cute? I ain't got a mirror. I got like a two inch viewfinder on my camera. I give this one a big fat. Mm. Take a boring old dress shirt. Oh, she tied it into her bra. Y'all see that? She made it kind of cute. Straight out of the office to dinner look. Are you sick and tired of your dress shirt's existence? Y'all trying to transform it into something else? Okay, so we're gonna <clears throat> off the shoulder it real quick. And then, whoa, that button just done popped out. She, how she did it, so. Fortunately, I know how to do a double knot. So wait, is that it? This is like tight on my shoulders. I'm gonna free another button, do I dare? Whoa, you know what? This might actually be kind of cute. Cause I think it's, it's the denim. It will work, like it'll work with any dress type shirt. You could probably do it with a flannel too, it'd be cute. And then I just like rolled up the sleeves cause I think they look better than just like folded upwards. Cause look, look, look. Bruh, what is this? What is this? This drives me crazy. Actually, it looks kind of fashionable. So maybe we'll do that. All right, this is the finished look. The back is really cute. Very grammable. I got an email notification from a store and they use the word grammable. They're like, check out all these grammable styles. I'm like, what? A grandma shop here? And then I realized that Oh, do it all for the gram. Witches love the gram. This ain't bad, it's pretty cute. I could even wear it like I'm wearing it right now and it would be fine. If you wanted to undo one, you probably could too. Oh, I think it's cuter that way. Again, with the off the shoulder, I always feel like it's gonna go off. You don't even have to do it off the shoulder. Do it like this. I don't know, it looks kinda cute. You see, that's how I wear it. Nothing fancy. So I saw this hack on TikTok where this girl just like, what well, bam bun. I'm like, was there an edit, a transition? Like, what happened in those 0.25 seconds? Now she flipped down, flipped up, and her hair was in a bun. Let's put this mess up. If I can even hold on to my hair bands. Okay, so she did it like this. This is gonna get caught onto my rings. So she just went like. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I did it, but she did it like 10 times faster. It was still really slow. I mean, when I normally do a ponytail, it's just like that. This is my hair almost every day in middle school. And people will walk around pinching it. It's like a dang uvula. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna try again. So we put the hair tie like, like this. Or maybe with thumbs. Humans need thumbs. Okay. <sighs> I think I did it. It was faster and look, look, look. I got all the hair. Does it look cute? Probably not. But yeah, definitely use your thumb so you can get like a good grip. It's like the hand that feeds. Except instead of getting the food, you get your hair and just like. <laughs> no! We have a casualty. To the hairband graveyard you go. Okay, I guess you can't be too aggressive. Fast doesn't equal aggressive. I think I did better the first time, but yeah, I mean, if you keep practicing it, there's no reason why it shouldn't work. Oh man, that's just awful. <laughs> this attempt doesn't even count. You know, that's why I wear a hat. Are you sick and tired of being comfy in your big comfy sweater? We'll just take it off, slide it on down. 
there is no, what? That, that was the same thing. That was the same thing she was wearing a second ago. It's a dress now. You know, there's a very unlikely possibility that what fits around my neck will not fit on my chest. This is a 99% spandex. Stretchy shirt energy right here. And then she just tied the back like that. Oh, into a bow, a butt bow. And then the drawstring. Oh, once you take that out, it's never going back in. You cannot undo what you have just done. She just made a hole through it. Okay. She making it work. I don't make the rules around here. For this, I had to go to several stores to find this exact kind of sweater. You see, I have so many of these sweaters. They're cowl necks, right? It's basically like a very big turtleneck. It cowls and it makes me want to howl. So I inspected several of them. Basically, you're gonna want to get your body through the neck hole. If it can't stretch like past your shoulders, it's not gonna work. So I went to Target, I got one. This is an XXL, by the way. It was the only way. Baba Booey. It does not have a drawstring like the one in the hack. It's very itchy and stretchy, but you want it as stretchy as possible. The one in the video was huge. I feel like this one's just like, it might work, it might not, it might be too short. That was the issue. The pants are off. <laughs> so now we're gonna try to squeeze through this neck hole. Okay, that's one arm. We got one arm. All right, next arm. Oh, I think it's gonna work, it's gonna work. Hey, okay, yes, that was the hard part. You see, if you could fit through the cowl, you can flap your wings and become an owl. Oh, it's looking exactly like the hack. This is going to work. Okay, so we're gonna take the sleeve and just like tie it behind our back. Y'all don't exist. She tied it into a bow. I don't think you have to. I feel like a bow is gonna be too bulky. Like look, like you got a tail. Okay, there are several ways you can do this. What I learned from other hacks is you can take the sleeves, tuck them in. Yeah, so just basically do them inside out and you have like, I gotta get on my chair so you can see. Pockets, nobody will know. How will they know? I don't have a belt on me, but if I did, I could just like tie something around my waist. Oh my goodness, it's so Christmassy. What? Okay, this is kinda cute. So what you might be able to do is just like, Twist them back and then bring them out front and then it's still gonna be bunchy. But if you want like a bow in the front, just a tie, does that look stupid? That kind of looks stupid. Okay, five minute crafts, y'all done figured it out. Y'all did the best way. All right, you know what? That's probably gonna be it. This video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet. Are you sick and tired of you or your man's wallet looking like this bulky old thing? Well, now you can get the Ridge Wallet. It holds up to 12 cards, less room for cash. There's over 30 styles and colors and it has a lifetime warranty. With over 40,000 five star reviews, I think it's the perfect gift because I love getting people things that they're actually going to use. So make sure you go to ridge.com slash wolf, check out the Ridge Holiday Guide, and use code WOLF for 10% off. This hack is supposed to make wearing heels a little bit more comfy. So take regular socks, cut some holes into them bad boys until your toes hang out. I think this only works on like those peep toe sandals. Yes, see, ain't nobody will suspect a thing. You can buy these or you can just make them with regular socks, which I think is pretty smart. Here's a spare sock that happened to wander into my room without a partner. And you know what we do to those socks? We cut them. So we're gonna make four holes, just enough so my toes can peek through. Okay, I did not do them very even, but that is fine. Gonna slip them on. I don't think it's tight enough. And you're gonna need five holes. I don't think that you needed four. Or actually, no, you know what? Pinky toe doesn't need its own hole. There you have it, your little toe hands. I haven't had a pedicure since pre-COVID, so please ignore my ugly feet. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like Sasuke with my ugly feet. You know what? This is fine. I'm comfortable. Toes are out. Free. The toes may be free, but this content shouldn't be. I actually don't own any shoes with a peep toe. You know when your toes hang off? Because it's very unflattering and very uncomfortable. And because my second toe is longer than my big toe. Surprisingly, a lot of these hacks were like, ah, okay, I'm giving them too much credit, but they were pretty good this time. Everything actually worked. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below, let me know which one of these hacks was your favorite and would you actually try any? If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and the face. And make sure you turn on notifications so you know when I upload. Click, click. And subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.